today's my first day my last first day of school like my freaking last first day of school i don't even know how to act right now like this is crazy so it's i'm on my way i have a 10 20 class it's my biology class people are looking at me crazy please don't hit me so yes we are on our way to our first class i'm so nervous i'm so excited <gasps> Y'all, I just wanted to come on here. I know I look a hot mess. I literally just woke up from a nap, like a two hour long nap. And let me tell you, I'm already messing up the school year. Like, who told, like, no. I was supposed to come home from my first class and get straight back to editing this video, this documentary. Nope, I ate lunch and I took my butt to sleep. So, <laughs> needless to say, I'm already slacking this semester on the first day of school. Um, my first class was biology, this bi lecture, biology, biology lecture, biology lecture. Um, <laughs> uh, it seems pretty freaking easy. I just got to stay on top of things. Um, I like my teacher. She's dope. I think I've had her before. Don't judge me. Yes, I failed the class. And I think it was that same class, actually. Don't ask me how I, it's transcripts. Um, I have one more class. I only have two classes today. So I had biology this morning from 1020 to 1130. And then I have one more class. I have intro to photo at, from 4 to 630 tonight. However, since it is the first day of school and it is syllabus day, I'm hoping, because that's what they do on the first day. They're supposed to let you out early, right? Don't keep us in class for no two and a half hours long. So hopefully we get out early and then it's Thirsty Thursday and First Thursday. Not that I'm a drinker or nothing, but I told myself this semester I'm going to be more involved. Like I'm going to be, I'm going to do stuff. Like I don't do nothing, y'all. I literally... People get, I don't know why people are so shocked to find out I don't do, like, I'm a homebody. I don't do anything. I stay home with my fur babies. That's my life. And I work. I'm a workaholic. So, for once, I think I'm going to participate in something. I probably won't drink. And if I do drink, it may just be one drink because I'm not a drinker. And those of you who watch my videos know that I should not be drinking with my health problems. But I'll have one drink. I'm a participate, y'all. Like I taught, I said, my senior, my last semester, my senior year, I'm going out. Like, not literally going out, but like I'm doing. Like I want to be involved. I want to do participate in school events. I want to, I want to do stuff. I, I'm a part of black program. I cannot talk. I'm a part of black programs at my school, but I don't ever attend any functions unless I have to be there to film something. Like last semester for Black History Month, I went to a step show for black programs because I had to film it <laughs> for another class. So if it weren't for that, I wouldn't have went. Like I, I should be participating. Like as much as I'm a activist and all the things I speak about, I should probably put my, the money where my mouth is and like be involved, right? Instead of coming home and shutting myself off from the world because that's what I love to do. Like something about me that y'all should know is I'm an empath. I pick up on people's energies. I pick up on like quickly. Pe being around a lot of people drains me. So no, I'm not really an extrovert. Like I'm, I'm very much so an introvert. Um, I can do, you know, go out, I can be in crowds, but it drains me. I, I don't, I'm not people person, y'all. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I get a lot, of a lot of anxiety, especially having a service dog and stuff. No, she will not be attending with me tonight. Let, okay, let me break something down because a lot of people will probably have questions about this. Like if you guys see me around out, per se. Layla is a full-time service dog. Don't get that twisted. However, I do leave her home at times. Not alone. She's never by herself. She go, you know, she got my mama. I live at home with my mama right now until I graduate. So, um, 
what just happened? My Himalayan salt rock just turned off and I don't play that. Okay. <laughs> so, um, like tonight, when I go out, um, she most likely will not be with me. Actually, not most likely, she will not be with me. I do not take her when I participate in like club events or bar events. She's never there. <laughs> As long as I'm with another person that I know and that I trust and that knows my situation and knows how to deal with it, that is the only time I won't bring her. If I just met you on campus today and I don't really know you like that and you like, let's go, I still go with you, but she coming with me because I don't know you like that, homegirl. I don't. You could leave me, you know, I don't know. I don't know you like that. So, yeah, but when I'm with people I know and that I trust and that you know I know they'll take care of me she don't need to be there I'm not taking her to no club and bar environment however I still deserve to have somewhat of a life the majority of the time I'm already at home with her so I can have a little bit of freedom okay let me live let me be great <laughs> however I'm just sitting here rambling because I was supposed to be vlogging my whole first day of school and my last first day of school y'all my last first day of school <laughs> I'm done I'm done so some of you guys wanted to update on my incompletes um so i'm pretty much done for the most part i think when i made that video i think i believe i said i had three incompletes however i i did mention that on top of my incompleted classes i was also doing summer school a full load of summer school both sessions so that first session um i was gone at the mayo clinic for a week and what a coinky dink i'll be at mayo clinic for another week the second week of school next week and i'm pissed about it i missed the first day of labs like where they do that at like i'm gonna be gone for the whole week second week of school like this ain't cool but anyways i've been waiting for this appointment since like march or april so i'm not rescheduling it is now the end of august so we're going regardless um but yeah so what was i saying so towards yeah, so first session, I ended up taking a fourth incomplete. I have finished two of the four incompletes. I finished my Adventures in Genre class a long time ago, like I think around or a little after the first session. I don't remember. But I've been done with Adventures in Genre. I just finished up my Cine 2 class, which is so crazy because it was one of the last, it was the last class that I got assigned assignments for. And I've finished that before I finished all the other stuff that I've I've been known like what I needed to do. So all I have left, and I'm almost done. I just dumb stuff keeps popping up and happening and preventing me from finishing. And then I had like you know how you got like writer's block. I had like editor's block for a minute, and I was like I have no ideas. I don't know what to do. I'm I don't know. I just don't want to edit anymore. I'm done. I've been working on this documentary since the beginning. Of, literally the beginning of the year like January February March like I think we I started filming in March but I was in pre-production since January I'm so over this documentary I want it to be done it should have been done in May it is now the end of August and I'm still working on this damn documentary and I'm so over it however it's coming along great I'm a perfectionist I don't know what to tell you I'm not gonna turn in no half-ass work even though sometimes I feel like I turn in half-ass work but for some reason my professors love my work and I don't know why because I don't always love my work you know I got offered my first job off of an assignment I completely hated I wouldn't even watch it back and he offered me a job in LA as an assistant editor and I'm like did we watch the same video because I don't feel that confident in my work but whatever I'll take it so anyways I need to finish up the documentary which I should if I stopped slacking, like if I wouldn't have took that two hour long nap, it could have been done right now. But I took it like, let me, let me show you. Let me get my itinerary. I told myself that before my first class, I was going to finish up a script that I needed to finish. And then once I got out of my class, I was going to have lunch real quick, finish up homework from my first class because I do already have homework. It's a syllabus quiz. It's not that difficult. So I was going to knock that out real quick, come home, have a little lunchy lunch, and then get to editing until I go to my next class at 4. No. 
didn't none of that happen. Didn't go to Starbucks. And the only reason I didn't go do my homework was because right now my Wi-Fi is down at home. So I can't do anything. That's why like the editing process has been slow because my it my Wi-Fi has been down. And um so I've been having to travel to do my work, which for me personally is not easy as a college like I got health problems, I got dogs, I got like it's just easier for me to work at home. So all of last week I spent the week at my grandparents house utilizing their Wi-Fi and knocking out some stuff. So I guess it's like 2.55. I have an hour before my next class so I'm going to try to get some editing in and when I get out of class I'm going to join in on this little, <laughs> this little thirsty Thursday, the first Thursday, the last first Thursday or whatever. And then I'm going to get right back to work. And then the second video that I need to edit that was for the summer school class, I can't finish. Well, I can, I'm can. i going to finish it while I'm up at the Mayo Clinic or probably before. But I can't turn it in until after I get back from the Mayo Clinic because I, I leave this Sunday to go. And then I'll be there all week. I think my last appointment is Thursday. And I actually have a procedure that day, like a procedure. So I'm nervous. I hope I don't. I don't like anesthesia because me and anesthesia, we not cool like that. I always wake up for some reason. So I'd rather just be awake. Like my last, no, not my last two. Was it my last two? I don't know. I think there's been a couple procedures where they actually kept me awake, and but just numb me. Like my and oh, I think that's normal. My angiogram, I stayed awake and watched that. Watch it on the screen. Yo, let me. Okay, before I go and stop procrastinating on editing. I just want to say vlogging is difficult like I'm not good at it because half the time I'm not running late but I'm usually like leaving like right when I need to be leaving the house so I'm not thinking let me get my camera out and let me talk to it for a minute like I'm rushing constantly so I'm gonna work on it and what I want to do the goal because no I probably won't be posting like regular videos as much as I want to because I'm telling I'm finishing up two more incompleted classes y'all and then I just started the fall semester I graduate in December and I'm leaving for a week the second week of school so I'm playing catch I've been playing catch up all summer long uh, I've been working really hard y'all don't understand how hard I've been working behind the scenes I wish y'all knew how hard I've been working like, y'all think just because it took me all summer, I wasn't working all summer? No, I, I took the entire summer. When I got back... No, okay, that's a lie. When I got back from Mayo Clinic, and my first appointment was June 5th, I believe. So, And I was only there for a couple days, right? So, like, June 8th, when we got back home, I've been working. Non-stop. Yes, I have my little curveballs or whatever, or I get sick and I can't do something here and there. But for the most part... I've been working my ass off and not just with work I'm talking about physically health wise mentally spiritually emotionally everything I've been working on me this summer like going hard um you guys know I I'm, I think I'm gonna make a video about it because I've been working out and posting my fitness pictures but for some reason everybody thinks I lost all this weight working out and that's not the case <laughs> So yeah, I need to make a video about my weight loss journey, or my, my fitness journey, I should say. Because after I went vegan, y'all, I was playing no games. No games. And yes, I am vegan. Part of it was because of what the health. Uh, the other half of it is, I know y'all know my health is messed up. And I'm tired of being sick. So if I could cure it with my food, I'm down. Because y'all, if y you already know, I don't do pharmaceuticals around here. We don't do that. We like natural stuff. So whatever I can do to cure my, like literally cure myself, it, they even claim going vegan can help with your eyesight. Now y'all know I'm legally blind. So, um, I'm definitely down if I can like not be blind. So anyways, that's for a separate video. I'm rambling because I'm procrastinating and I need to stop procrastinating because I was talking about how this school year, this semester is going to be different. It ain't different yet, but we gon' we gonna make it different. So let me get to work. I'ma holler at you when I'm on my way to class. When I stop playing these games.
I'm the hottest in the street. No, you probably heard of me. Got a bag and fix my teeth. Hope you hoes know it ain't cheap. And I pay my mama bills. I ain't got no time to chill. Then these hoes be mad at me. They baby father wanna build. Little bitch. So I'm officially, it's like 4.30, four, a little after 4.30, and I'm officially done with my last first day of school, y'all. Oh my god. So, I'm home. The class is only, I was late, like a couple minutes late. But the, it only lasted like 20 minutes long, and then we was out of there. So, I'm home right now. Here's the plan. I'm gonna, I feel like I need to eat something. Like, I don't. I don't know, I'm feeling like off today. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Something's off though. So anyways, I think I'm gonna eat something real quick. Smoke a bowl. Do a little bit of editing while I'm smoking my bowl. And then it's turn up time. It's about to be lit, y'all. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding, I don't say it like that. But it's about to be lit. We about to go have uh what is it what is it first that look i don't even know the name of it because i don't ever do anything i don't participate in these things so i don't even know what it's called but is it thursday or first thursday first thursday first thursday does it matter after first thursday is it always thirsty thursday i don't know i've never partied on a thursday before so it is my friday and i don't have school next week Sorry, my best friend just texted me and said she's eating and she ready to get lit because we didn't think we was all three gonna be able to meet today because we all had like busy schedule. Like technically I should stay my butt home tonight and work on my editing and get some work done. But I deserve this. Like I don't do anything. So I'm gonna treat yourself. Y'all know what treat yourself is? Y'all better treat yourself. So yeah. That's what we gonna do. We gonna, we gonna put a little bit of work in right now since we didn't do it earlier. And then we gonna get lit. Okay? And I'm gonna take y'all with me. Hopefully. I don't know what kind of lit it's gonna be tonight. Okay? So. Hold on. I, I got on here to say it wasn't lit tonight at all in the least bit. <laughs> uh, first Thursday did not happen. Thirsty Thursday, whatever the hell it's called, it did not happen today. That was a complete fail. Um, we'll try to get tomorrow. There's a concert tomorrow. I know it's old. Y'all are going to laugh, but don't laugh. Uh, the Yin Yang Twins. We're going to have a free concert at school with the Yin Yang Twins. Last year it was Trinidad James. Like the first week of school we had Trinidad James come and then... Um, tomorrow is the Yin Yang Twins, so I might have to make that happen because, yeah, the Trinidad James ones was fun. The only reason that was a fail, and I, it sucks because we saw all the, like, the openers, right, but totally missed Trinidad James because we got rained out, so we left. As soon as that rained, mm -mm, my hair, no, 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 sir. No ma'am, no ham. We don't play that around here in these parts. So we was out. As soon as the sprinkles came, that we was out. And then it started like pouring down rain. But we wasn't here for it. So, it better not rain tomorrow. It's been raining a lot, but it better not rain tomorrow. As a matter of fact, let me check my weather app. But yes, the Yin Yang Twins are supposed to be here. <laughs> Too bad Lil John not coming. Yin Yang Twins and Lil John. Hey, reunite. Okay, let me stop and take my contacts out. That's what I came in here to do. Let me put the clogger in the sink before I mess around <laughs> and lose my contact. Woo! Some people, okay, that was an epic fail, but yes, a lot of people wonder how the hell do I maneuver my contacts with my claws? And the answer is simple. If I don't have my claws, I feel completely naked. So, um, I can do anything with my claws. Like, literally anything. People are like, how do you do that with nails and long nails at that? Uh, because it's me. And these are my claws. And I love them. And I take care of them. 
Uh, however, I might have got these ones a little too long. <laughs> a little too long. How, um, I played basketball in my claws, literally, my freshman year. I played with my nails. <laughs> and a little bit of sophomore year, too. Before I, like, completely stopped playing sports. And y'all act like I was mediocre. I ain't even mediocre. Like... I had I got recruited to play in Holland. I was playing AAU, BCU, BCU, BCI. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been around. I've been on travel teams. I've been, I've been playing since I was how old? I want to say since I was like eight or nine, maybe seven. Is it younger than that? I've been playing a long time, y'all. Girl. I look messed up and I'm holding bleach and orange shoes. It's like, what are you doing? Yo, so instead of going out, right, we came to Walgreens. <laughs> like, oh man, what kind of what kind of drugs are you picking? I'm like, it's that new, it's that new mimosa. It's called mimo mimo. <laughs> you want some mimo? <laughs> you was whipping it in the kitchen with that baking soda. Baking soda. I got baking soda. I want to. Hit it with the uh, hit it with the uh, uh, uh. Bruh. Twerk, twerk, twerk. I don't know what we doing Twerking now. in the beauty section. Twerking. Wait, what? For real, what are we doing? We just walking around Walgreens, y'all, because we ain't got nothing better to do. <gasps> oh, I ain't paying $17, though. We good. Yeah, I'll go get some mud from outside. I always wanted to try that. I think I did try that when I was a kid. <laughs> I used to eat like dirt and stuff, so I was I that kid. I used to try and cook eggs on the sidewalk. Me too. Best friend. I used to eat. I used to think the leaves off the tree was the lettuce, like a salad. And I used to eat like salads all the time. <laughs> I was going to tell you something, but you go going to look at me and judge the fuck I'm out of me. I'm not going to judge you. I told you, told you I eat dirt no, and mud pies. You know how everybody in Oakland is supposed to eat? Yeah. We thought the leaves would be weed, and so we rolled it up. <laughs> but we was trying to smoke it. I don't judge you. That's the Oakland thing, bro. What are we doing here? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what you doing. I'm filming. No, baby. What you doing? Oh, baby. baby. What is you doing, baby? I'm gonna learn how to do that. <laughs> what are we doing? My mom was like, "Your booty popping." I was like, "Girl, for real." She's like, "Yeah." And you then she was stuff. like, "When the wedding?" She was like, "When the wedding is?" Oh, I know. I'm trying to plan my wedding. What was she saying? She was like, Take it after Red Lobster. Because I told her, when she get mad if I just go to the courthouse? And she said, You better not. I'll cut her if she go to the courthouse because I already told this woman and her man, because he's part of this wolf pack, right? <laughs> Who says that? That I better get a phone call. Because if I get a phone call that you already hit, she, you went to the courthouse and I didn't know shit about it, I wasn't even a witness. <laughs> if me and Q not witnesses, we done. We're done. Bruh. We have nothing to say to you. Okay. You can't eat nuts? Ooh, I can eat those. Ooh. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, twerking in the... Uh, twerking in the... Uh, twerking in the... Uh. Your little booty got... Power. You know what? It wasn't even my booty that was hitting your booty. It was my leg that was hitting your booty. <laughs> so I'm tired of you judging me. <laughs> well, like, best friend. So this is our idea of fun. We don't go out, y'all. We go to Walgreens and our PJs. And act the food. And act the food. Ooh, right. water balloons. In this I dish. know. We should get them. Didn't we get these one time? We didn't get this, this, but we got water balloons. I was going to say, didn't we, like, fuck some shit up with some water balloons at your On house? On my birthday? Your mama house somewhere? I don't remember, but that birthday, I got fucked up. Well, Wasn't that, like, every birthday? birthday? But the one birthday, I got fucked up on the water slide. That birthday. Oh, I don't, I don't remember. The one both of us don't remember? Get it? <laughs> Y'all didn't get it though. Y'all didn't get it. Oh, this is kind of cute. A little binder? No, it's not. It's like rose goldy. No, it's not. And then no, it has a matching no. notebook. No, it's ugly. The Bowen's notebook's cute, and but the Bowen's binder's Bowen. ugly. Oh my god. Look at this though. Oh my god. Nice. I know I was looking at the rose gold. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Over there? <laughs> That's it. The <laughs> I want the post to know. I want that post to know. Leave me alone. Damn it. You keep laughing at me. 
It's not funny. You just, you just did it. If there was off. water in here, I would spray you. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> you cry. Look, my best friend crying, y'all. She crying. Look at this. She crying. She crying over there. Because you failed. I didn't even fall, bro. I dropped the notebook. I didn't fall. <laughs> I gotta pee. <laughs> I didn't even fall, y'all. I dropped the notebook. Don't tell that lie. That's a straight up lie. She lying. I didn't do all that. I just dropped the notebook and I was trying to pick it up, but I couldn't. I thought I had it, but I didn't. <laughs> We're gonna get kicked out of Walgreens. What's cool nanny said? What? Don't ever say poo nanny again. Shit. Okay, well, me? Yeah. <laughs> She's talking about this candle, guys. Ooh, this is actually a cute candle, but now it's ruined because she think it's a poo nanny. But it clearly does not say that. What? what would you put in here? A shot? Like a real shot? Bruh, it's a shot glass. So you shot would put glass shot? set. Shot but why are they mason glass. jars? Who took a shot out of a mason jar? Oh my gosh, it's a fucking shot. Just take the shot. It's a big ass shot. You miss a hundred percent of drink. the shots you don't take. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all this I don't drink. <laughs> Every day we live. Okay, let's go. Cause my orange is getting cold. I'm about to take it to the head. Take, take it to the it head. To the head. Oh, I was thinking the old. I was thinking the <laughs> This is the first time we were not on the same page. I know. That never not? happens. I was in the 90s. You was in the 2000s. you guys so I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders I feel so free right now I just want to celebrate I just want to I don't even know what to do with myself like I just need to celebrate I am officially done with all four of my incompleted classes from spring semester of 2017 and I am currently caught up in all of my current classes that have just started this fall 2017. Needless to say, everybody who doubted me, look at me now. Graduation 2017, what up? Self-made, what's up? Oh my gosh, y'all. If you knew the struggle and how long I've been, long and hard that I've been working on this work, and still working on like summer school and fall semester like oh <sighs> now I can start cranking out them YouTube videos oh oh my gosh y'all just don't understand like I'm this like just that much closer to walking across that stage I'm so proud of myself it's off to Arizona tomorrow ah oh. This semester is already off to a great start, y'all. Uh, I'm like shaking, I'm so relieved. I feel so free, like, I literally feel free. <sighs> it's a, just a breath of fresh air and I'm ready to celebrate. Like, I wish I was going out tonight or something. Like, I have a reason to freaking celebrate right now. Like, 
I'm this much closer y'all everybody who doubted me who didn't think I would make it by December who thought I needed to take a semester off who thought I needed to take a break let, let, let me break it down for y'all I dropped out of college in 2013 took a whole semester off went back fall of 2014 switched my major got amnesia two years, you know, after the fact that I started school. So I've really only technically been in school like a year and I'm graduating with my class. How many people can say that? You know, actually when I was, when I had my amnesia in the hospital and I got out, people actually wanted me to like really drop out and like <laughs> focus on me, focus on my health. I didn't, I didn't drop out. I didn't drop out. I took it like a champ. Even when I was confused, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know the people who were surrounded by me. I didn't, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but I did it. 